What's up, everybody? I'm back again. You are watching and listening to The Sports Judge. Welcome. Thanks for supporting the channel. You know, I knew it was going to happen at some point. It was inedible. It was inescapable. USC was going to eventually suffer its first loss of the season. It was only a matter of time. The first loss of the season just had to come against Notre Dame, unfortunately. I've watched plenty of, of Trojans games this season to tell you that they barely survived against Arizona State, Colorado, and Arizona. It's, it's clear as day, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't want to believe it, but the Trojans are very much overrated. I feared this. I had a feeling USC would lose to Notre Dame. I called it. As exciting as Caleb Williams and the offense have been, USC has more problems than a math book. Let's just be real. Let's not kid ourselves. We can't sit here and be delusional and pretend it's all rainbows and flowers because it's not. Notre Dame buried the Trojans. And this is just one of the many signs that this team is far from being a title contender. Caleb Williams is USC. He carries the team. And when he has a bad night, they lose, like we saw last night. And when he plays well and looks solid overall, USC has a chance to win. At the end of the day, this team, on a good day, tend to put up a lot of points and can still lose because the defense can't stop anybody, obviously. This defense couldn't stop the little old lady from Pasadena even if it tried. That's how bad it is. That's the kind of year it has been for USC. The defense is, in general, absolutely horrible. So Caleb Williams and the weapons around him have to keep pace with opposing teams score for score. It finally caught up to them. Teams are solving their offense. USC shouldn't be a top 10 team in the country, weak and disgraceful. Not sure why Alex Grinch still has a job, but okay. I I'm not sure why it takes so much time to get the ball out of Caleb Williams' hands. You're asking him to be the quarterback, the leader, the playmaker, the coach, the, run the running back, the wide receiver. Basically, he's the entire team. They're not ready to be a top 10 team. They're not ready to be a legitimate contender. Stop playing soft. They're playing soft. Defenders can't tackle or make plays. It is shocking to me that this is one of the most premier football programs in the country, and yet your defense sucks this bad. That's a problem. That's a problem. Got to get some people that want to actually play and who can tackle. A lot of work to do, especially on defense. We need a defensive genius. Instead, we got a, a guy who only coaches one side of the ball, and that's offense. You have to know your weaknesses and hire the right person to make the liability into an asset. There is a lot of talent on this team. So this falls on coaching. They got smacked in the mouth. USC got beat down. I'm sure a long flight back is a moment they can think about it and reflect. The garbage play, especially on, on the defensive side of the ball, finally caught up to them. With how bad the defense has looked, you can't afford careless mistakes on offense. You can't. You, you lose in turnover differential. It's going to be tough to win. Horrendous defense and lack of physicality. This coach doesn't teach physicality and toughness. He doesn't. You can't even trust your defense to give you the ball back. So Williams has to be almost perfect on every drive and hope to get his team in the end zone. Caleb Williams had his worst game of the season throwing three interceptions in the first half. Not a good night for the Trojans, but give credit to the Irish defense for coming out strong and pressuring Caleb Williams all night. Most of it started from the line of scrimmage. Notre Dame's pass rush was relentless. You know, they, they pressured him. It, it really, 
it, it really threw Williams off his game and, and had his timing all out of whack. He finished with 23-37 for 199 passing yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. When he's getting pressured, he's forcing passes that aren't there. What? He was sacked 30 times? Is that right? I know he was sacked quite a bit in this game, but 30? Notre Dame came ready. The Irish controlled the entire game. This is the first solid team USC played all year. After three interceptions for Williams, Michael Penix Jr. has to be the front runner for, for the Heisman, and it's not even close. The Irish defense made Williams look like a mediocre quarterback, not a Heisman winner. One bad game, and Heisman hopes go out the window for Caleb Williams. It was a terrible night for the USC Trojans. They got exposed, and they took quite a beating against a rival team, Notre Dame. Not good at all. Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you guys very soon. I'll be back uh, soon with an NFL Week 6 recap, and I will have my reactions for today's game. So you guys don't want to miss that. You guys want to tune in for that. I'll see you guys when I see you guys again. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.